Hello, dear friends. This is Yule Humphreys. I'm glad to be here and share a word with you today in regard to the Bible, a 10-minute message. I pray God will bless it to your heart. I want to speak to you on a word that I think is very important, and that, that word is concerning the fact that uh, I'm going to give you three, three things that makes life really meaningful. Three things that will make life worthwhile to you. And these three things are recorded in the same scripture in the book of, of uh, Philippians. And we read it in the, uh, in the fourth chapter of Philippians. And we begin reading in verse 6, 6 and 7. I want you to know, read, uh, notice these words, very important words. And I pray that the little message will, will, will develop something in your life and will find in you that which you need to find and that you will be blessed by it and that it will change your life. The Bible says in, in Ephesians 4 and uh, verse, verse 6, Do not be anxious or worried about anything. But in everything, by prayer and petition and supplication, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And then the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So here are three things I want you to notice. Number one, we're to be anxious and worried about nothing. Now that's a difficult thing to do, I know. It's difficult because I know it's hard. I have a difficult time with it. But every time I start worrying about something, I turn to God and I say, Lord, forgive me. I'm going to trust you. I know your word says don't do it and I'm not going to do it. I'm going to quit thinking about it. You worried about something, quit thinking about it. Turn to the Lord and say, God, I'm going to live this day for your glory. And I'm not going to worry. You're going to help me work out this problem. I'm going to leave it alone and I'm going to leave it in your hands and I'm going to go ahead and Praise God and please God and seek to find the way of the Lord. Be anxious about nothing. Just quit worrying about anything. Because your worry is not going to help solve that problem. So quit thinking about it and being anxious about it. Turn it over to God and leave it. This is one of the ways of life, of meaningful life, is to live without anxiety and worry and fear. Trust God. Trust God with everything. The Bible says in Proverbs, the third chapter, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and, and acknowledge God in all your ways and He'll direct your path and you won't have to worry. Leave it all in His hands and let God work. Let God work. The second thing here is do not worry about everything but in everything by prayer and supplication make your requests known to God. And so the second thing that's so meaningful in your life is prayer. Simple prayer. Oh, we need to pray. Jesus said, call, and I will answer. Jesus said, call, and I will hear you, and I'll show you great things. He said, ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find it. Knock at the door of God, and it shall be opened. You need to pray, and to pray often. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, we need to pray. We need to pray in the morning and the noon and the night. Pray often. You'll never pray too much because God is hearing your prayer all the time. And you'll learn in prayer to let God speak to you in your heart, in your mind. Thoughts will come from Him. And you'll hear His Word in, as you read the Bible. And the Word will speak to you and you will know it's the Word of God. And the Lord will bless. So, number one, be anxious about nothing. Number two, pray about everything. And then, number three, be thankful for anything. Be thankful for anything. The Bible says, pray with thanksgiving. Pray, pray your prayer with thanksgiving unto God. So learn to be thankful for what you got. And you have more than you think you have. You stop a moment and think, the thing that you're worried about, the thing that you're down about, the thing that you've overlooked is the many, many blessings that you do have. Are you able to hear this message? you got ears to hear? Praise God. There are many that cannot hear in this world. Can you see me on this YouTube message? There are many that cannot see. What would you give for your eyesight? 
Oh, praise God. Do you have a roof over your body and a pillow for your head tonight? Then be grateful. There are many that don't have that. I preach every other week down here in the city where I live in a place called the Unity Park and I'll preach to over 200 homeless people that are living on the streets without a place to stay. Be grateful if you got a bed in a house. Be thankful. Have you got any kind of a family? Be thankful for that. Be thankful. Be thankful for so many things. Are you able to walk on two feet? Praise God. You're not in bed sick? Oh, praise God. You're able to eat and you've got some food on the table? Praise God. Hallelujah. And I thank God. I thank God that I can come to you with this message. And I believe God is blessing it. And I know God's going to help you to see it. And by the way, the most important thing, do you believe in Jesus? If so, you have a home in heaven. You've got a place up yonder beyond the stars where God's waiting for you. And you're going to wear a beautiful crown of glory with the Lord. Praise the Lord. And you're going to be with loved ones. And you're going to have things to do up there that you have never wondered how much you're going to enjoy. But if you don't, if you don't, if you don't, you'll miss heaven and there's hell with its darkness and terror. Oh, my dear friend. The one way to heaven is Jesus. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. I want you to call upon the Lord. Pray a brief prayer like this. And be sure that you're going to heaven. Say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for sinners. And I'm a sinner. I believe he died for me. And I believe he paid for all my sins. And I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come into my heart and help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Praise God. Amen. Pray a prayer like that and you'll find and know the way to live and the way to make your life most meaningful. Praise the Lord. Find your good church and go to. Worship with God's people. Read your Bible and pray and seek the face of the Lord. Yes, my dear friends, your Lord has given you much more than you realize. I read some time years, a couple of years ago, of a man out in East Texas here in America that uh, had a farm, and he lived po practically in poverty. He just barely could eke, eke out a living on his farm. But there came a day when people knocked on his door and said, we've been We've been uh, looking out here on this land, and we believe there's oil under your property. We'd like to drill on it if we have your permission. Oh, he said, certainly. And they drilled, and they found oil, and they struck an oil well. The man became rich overnight. Now, the man lived there for many years of his life, and he didn't know it, but he was sitting right on top of excessive riches. The oil was there. And he lived in poverty. So many times, if we're not careful, we'll overlook what the Bible teaches and believe the world instead of Jesus, and we'll miss the fact that we have riches right at our feet all the time. God Almighty is here to help you, to bless you, to forgive you, to love you, to lead you, and to use you. All of that for you when you believe in Him as your Lord and Savior, and give your life to Him. Yes, these three things are meaningful. Be anxious and worried about nothing. Pray about everything. And be thankful for anything. Amen. God bless you.